Okay, third try after lunch. <clears throat> I am now going to upload that that statement from Renata. Let me pause. Pause. So share screen one, and what I'm going to do is upload the document that Renata has done, which is, okay, I thought it was called PrepCom3. Where is it now, down the bottom? Yeah, this one. Okay, that's the latest one. I'm going to open it. and just edit what I think needs to be done. And the issue is, the point is, once you've edited it, it should be possible still to go back and see the changes. Editing, viewing, read or print final document, edit document directly, edit become suggestions. Okay, I'll do the suggestions. I'm suggesting edits. Okay, so that was the option given here. I'm now suggesting edits. And... The No More Nuclear Weapons 2023 NPT Preparatory Committee, the first session of the Preparatory Committee for the 2026 Review Conference of the Parties to the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, NPT, met from the 31st of July to the 11th of August 2023 at the Vienna International Centre in Vienna. At the Vienna International Centre is enough when you've got the, in the name Austria led by Ambassador Jamo Vianin of Finland. Opening with statements of 16 NGOs and networks of NGOs, statements of member states or groups of states were delivered. During lunchtime, workshops were offered, mostly two or three at the same time. Single statements and more information can be found here. I usually check the link. I'm not going to do that now because it's too distracting. Also, I wouldn't have all these different formats, this uh, keep everything uniform. Keep it the same font. Don't change it to a smaller font here. WFWPI endorsed the joint statement. That's a link. I would keep the link all the same as well and not have one fat and one with bigger letters than the other. WFWPI endorsed the joint statement to the 2023 PrepCom for the 11th NPT Review Conference initiated by Basel Peace Office, Unfold Zero, World Future Council and World Federalist Movement Institute for Global Policy, together with 152 organisations, international and 32 countries. Common security and nuclear deterrence, how to replace the current reliance on nuclear weapons with sustainable security for all. That was the title of the joint statement. Not completely clear, not really happy, but uh, anyhow. The paragraph about other methods to ensure common security and to invest more in developing these methods of conflict resolution through mediation and many other points aligned with WFWPI's values of parental heart, prosperity and universal values. Common security, aggression and nuclear deterrence. The common security approaches and mechanisms outlined in the UN Charter, Helsinki Final Act and Lisbon Declaration can be used to resolve international conflicts before they escalate to the level of armed conflict. They can also be used instead of nuclear deterrence to address aggression, the threat of aggression and other threats to peace and serious violations of international law. Better utilisation of common security approaches could therefore assist the transition from nuclear deterrence to non-nuclear security. This is almost too much quoting because we're going to add the link for the whole information anyhow. It's still much too much just direct. We know now that this is a quotation. It should have then either, okay, that's why I put it in italics already before. And here is the link to where it comes from. I think I would put that in the next line. These developments provide fertile ground for the NPT to take up our recommendation 
to establish a subsidiary body to undertake a situation-specific evaluation of the roles of nuclear weapons in conflicts and the common security conventional alternatives to nuclear weapons in each of these situations. Indeed, in an increasingly interconnected and globalised world, nuclear deterrence already has much less utility combined with very high risks, whereas common security has much greater potential and relevance to meet current and emerging security issues, reduce tensions, resolve international conflicts and ensure sustainable peace. That is from the, I'm just putting it on the next line to show that all that is the quote from here. At the very beginning of the NPT Preparatory Committee, a statement was delivered by the United States through Ambassador Adam Shainman on July 31st, 2023. Let me just see the date format. Here we've got, yeah, okay, you've got the month. No, you've got the day and then the month. I would keep the format uniform. In Europe, we have the day and then the month. In America, they have the month and then the day. If you've got the day and then the month, then please stay with the same format throughout on 31st of July and don't reverse it, even though it's the American ambassador, US being one of one of the new, through Ambassador Adam Shainman on 31st July, 2023, at the very beginning of the NPT Preparatory Committee, a statement was delivered by the United States, then you don't need the US here again. If it's the United States, it's clear that it's at the very beginning of the NPT Preparatory Committee, a statement was delivered by the United States through Ambassador Adam Shainman on the 31st of July, 2023, being one of, once, not twice, one of the nuclear, please use the full word because you're inventing shortcuts that don't exist being one of the nuclear power states owning nuclear weapons the biggest one where does that power, where does that bracket start oh the biggest one okay here right the full okay then that would be full stop here the full statement can be found here okay same thing, the link should have the same format throughout. And here is the space here after found. Um, I would separate the link there. And then if you're continuing with the content of the information, then it's a bit superfluous, a bit too much information. That's a lot there. If that is an excerpt from the contents of the link, then I think it's too much. We join with others in welcoming your selection to chair the first preparatory committee, and we know we are in your good hands. Just one year ago, US Secretary of State Blinken reaffirmed our nation's unshakable support for the non-proliferation treaty and for its fullest implementation, including achieving the peace and security of a world without nuclear weapons. The United States approaches this review cycle with equal equipment, equal commitment to upholding the NPT, carrying with us a crystal clear understanding of the treaty's irreplaceable role and its undeniable contributions. That's the quotation. However, everyone is faced with unforeseen challenges for the NPT. His Excellency Scheinman continued because of, quote it, Russia's unprovoked war against Ukraine that tragically continues, as does Russia's irresponsible nuclear rhetoric and its actions at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, all this being inconsistent with international law. In the course of the commission, the attendees were made aware of the devastating effects of a nuclear war, I would say on several occasions, as the suggestion was already there, using the example of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, only that nuclear weapons today have a much greater, more disastrous effect than those used in 1945. So whoever starts using it against his enemy, the effect will be almost the same on both parties, actually on everyone, even those not involved in the conflict. 
Abolition 2000, a network of NGOs, organized several workshops on topics like common security versus nuclear weapons. Space. How to replace the nuclear, how to replace the current reliance on nuclear deterrence with sustainable security for all. Nuclear risk reduction, 90 seconds to midnight. Call on no first use of nuclear weapons as a first step for risk reduction. Abolition 2000 org events. This is a, a, a combination of things. I'm not exactly sure what a network of NGOs organized several workshops. Okay. Okay, so these are the workshops. And that's the link to the organization. All right. I'll just put that on the next line. You'd almost put this in point form, but anyhow, just listing them like that at least saves a bit of space. Some side events dealt with the effect of nuclear testing on the health of people. Heightened risk of cancer, babies born with disabilities, destruction of nature, the source of income, nutrition, and more. These are often done in secrecy, ignoring the rights of people living affected by it. This, uh, I know I already passed it, but it's not completely smooth. These are often done in secrecy, ignoring the rights of people living. Yeah, living people affected by it. People living in the area of the of the testing. The recommendations given by the chair of the first session of the preparatory committee for potential areas for focused discussion at the second session of the preparatory committee for the 2026 review conference of the parties to the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons can be found here. The link to unify the format. Okay, here is a, we copy this format and place it over here. Okay. This is the copy, the format. A very inspiring aspect of the conference though, was the introduction of the peaceful use of nuclear technology under the motto, building a more sustainable future for all. This should be English quotation marks. That looks like German quotation marks. Through IAEA. International Atomic Energy Agency, full stop. An extensive exhibition and various side events made information about the multifaceted use of nuclear technology available. I don't know why nuclear has a big N and the technology has a small. I would just, I think, leave them both nuclear technology. Also excursions were organized to the laboratories in Cybersdorf and the VIC basement. So it looks like here you're next talking about the excursion. Nuclear technology serving sustainable development. In their own words, nuclear technology is a vital component of the global toolkit of technology that we can use to improve the human condition, build a more hospitable world and achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs by 2030. Our immediate focus is helping to highlight and tackle these nine SDGs when nuclear science, see, yeah, they have a small end, so I would stick to the small end, where nuclear science is currently poised to make a direct contribution while continuing to explore new applications and technologies, small t. To facilitate constructive outcomes, the dialogue will begin by promoting the use of nuclear science via three themes, improving healthcare outcomes, addressing climate change, and increasing food security for more information. The link, IAEA works on request and in close cooperation with governments with support of private stakeholders and NGOs. Specific needs are voiced and then research is made to find a solution for the specific situation. That's a realization that we had during this, these, uh, especially the tours of the laboratories. Uh, it's something that I knew because I was working at the IAEA, but th that is good to express that here. 
some of the areas covered by IAEA, dosimetry radiology, diagnosis and treatment. Well, we don't need the quotations in there then. An astonishing network is put in place so that all over the world, the same high standards can be observed. It's completely based on voluntary cooperation. Groundwater research based on isotopes. So water flow can be understood through testing the age of water, how long has it stayed in that place, important decisions about where and how deep a well must be built so it can reliably provide clean water for a long period of time. Biological pest control, minimizing insects causing sicknesses for humans and animals, which enables healthier life and keeping more productive livestock. I think sickness is enough, it's good enough. Illnesses, no, not necessarily. Minimizing insects causing sickness. No, that's all right, you can keep it. The combination of high developed highly developed water irrigation systems and soil analyses to understand which kind of fertilizer should be used, which leads to multiple harvest results. Also, the mutation of plants can be done on request so that better, more resilient, you don't need that, you don't even need that there at all. Deleted. The mutation of plants can be done on request so that better, more resilient plants can be developed and results can be increased. This is just to mention some of the areas IAEA is making its valuable contribution towards a healthier and more prosperous world. We were glad we could attend the conference. We could learn a lot about the aspect of peaceful use of here. You can use the capital because you were addressing it as a topic, but please spell it out. Nuclear technology. But also we gained a deeper understanding of the hindrances concerning nuclear proliferation. We are reflecting on the contribution that the network on, not of, on the contribution that the network of WFWPI is making and how we can expand this in the future. Okay, I'm not 100% happy, but that's my suggestion. And this was also intended as a lesson on what to do next. So here you see each of my suggestions and you can go through the whole document and then accept or reject the suggestions. And then it goes into the document and then it is even possible to, uh, it saves automatically. You don't have to save it when you're on Google Docs, but there is the option to go back to further, to other versions. Show document outline. No, I don't need the outline. Uh, what else? That's, I'll finish it there because um, at least I've shown you, I've gone through the whole document and I've shown you how to do that with the, Google Docs, okay, so that instead of sending another document by email or WhatsApp, where not everybody has it, okay, even here, the uh, all the different sizes of um, fonts disturbs me. So here, if this is a quotation, then I would make that clear with with italics but if it's the regular text I would keep everything in this size for example this is your report size then copy that format and use that for the document and okay so again copy the format and use it for the document and the link, copy the format and use it for the link. Okay, so that's that's enough. That's saved now as it is. Um, uh, copy this format. What do you... No, what do you, I don't want to print. No, no, no. Copy. I wanted to can copy the format. 
and there okay that's basically what I'd like to show you a little bit about I think this looks like it's a different size font I'm not sure so if I'm the one text that I'm using as my reference text was this then I go back here copy the format and go back to where I thought the text was a little bit different this here yes okay right you get the message so that's it and I will close here and finish my work on the document and stop my share and stop the recording <laughs>